Hello, and welcome back to the weird side. Of all the accidental disasters, high temperature is probably the most dreaded nightmare of all. Because high temperatures not only cause great pain to the human body, it can also discourage people who want to rescue and can't be rescued in the first place. Today, let's take a look at one real-life accident that happened in the ultra-high temperature environment. Bumblebee Foods is an American company that specializes in canned seafood. It was founded in 1899 and has a very long history. Its bumblebee canned tuna is a food that many Americans have been eating since they were old enough to eat it. And it is full of sentiment. As a responsible food company, Bumblebee is also very concerned about quality. In 2016 and 2017, the company found two batches of canned tuna that had problems with the sterilization process. Although there was no evidence of bacterial contamination or other adverse effects on the cans, Bumblebee quickly recalled tens of thousands of cans and centrally destroyed them. This should have been well received by consumers, but every time Bumblebee issued a recall announcement, some horrifying rumors will circulate on the internet. In 2016, it was rumored that the cans were recalled because muscle tissue residue from humans was found inside. And in 2017, the rumors were even worse. Two workers at the Bumblebee canning plant reported that a worker had fallen into the fish cooking pot and that the unscrupulous plant supervisor had chosen not to destroy the pot in order not to waste the tons of fish. Instead, they allowed them to box the worker and the cooked fish together and made them into cans. In the face of these rumors, Bumblebee could not sit idly by. They used the weapon of the law and soon found out who was creating and spreading the rumors and made the sanctions. But as the saying goes, the fly doesn't sting the unseen egg. These rumors also arose from the fact that a worker had been killed alive in a can of Bumblebee tuna. It did happen that a worker was cooked alive. It happened on October 11, 2012. It happened in the production plant of Bumblebee Canning in California. Jose Molina, 61, was working the night shift along with dozens of other workers. At 5 a.m., the plant supervisor ordered Jose to push 12 large metal baskets full of unsealed tuna cans into one of the huge industrial ovens to be sterilized and cooked at high temperatures. Jose accepted the order and took the 12 large metal baskets in a trailer. The entire five tons of canned tuna was brought to the front of the oven. Perhaps before pushing the tuna into the oven, Jose noticed that there was a problem with the hinges or other parts inside the oven. So he didn't rush to push these iron frames in, but climbed into the giant 11 meter long high pressure oven himself to try to troubleshoot these problems. At that moment, another worker passed by the oven and saw the trailer filled with canned tuna left in front of the oven. He knew Jose had a weak stomach and thought he might have gone to the bathroom again. But if this delayed the production, Jose might be reprimanded by the supervisor. So he wanted to help Jose out of goodwill. The worker gurdly pushed in all the baskets left outside the oven, closed the door, and started the machine. And just when the worker put the trolley back in place, the plant supervisor still found out. He came up and asked Jose where he had gone. This trolley should be his responsibility. The workers replied that Jose might be in the bathroom, so they went to the restroom together. But there was no sign of Jose, so the supervisor made an announcement on the board cast system and on the internal intercom. All the workers were mobilized to look for Jose, and they searched every corner of the plant, but there was no sign of Jose. Then they went to the parking lot to check. Jose's car was also still parked there and had not moved. At this time, all eyes fell on the running oven and the closed oven door. The worker who had started the machine turned pale and began to sweat coldly. And all the other workers also felt the sweat stood up. By this time, it had been one and a half hours since the oven was started. According to the thermometer outside, the temperature inside was as high as 132 degrees Celsius. Workers rushed to close the oven, but because the temperature and pressure inside is really too high. They waited another half hour for the oven to cool down before opening the door, and Jose was in the doorway with no sign of life. Afterwards, people speculated that the worker might have pushed the heavy metal basket full of tuna into the oven 
and the loud noise of the pulley drowned out Hosea's cries. And he tried to crawl out, but he was knocked unconscious by the large metal basket. He was then awakened by the rising temperature and pushed his way to the door, pounding on it for help. But the iron door is really too heavy, and the noise of the oven running is very loud. The surrounding people cannot hear at all. And this is what caused the tragedy. The coroner in charge of the autopsy said afterwards he had seen the remains of various victims of accidents and crimes, but Jose's death was the most tragic he had ever seen. After the incident, the company's safety director and plant manager were charged with safety violations and fined $30,000. Bumblebee was ordered to pay $1.5 million to Jose's family, another $1.5 million in fines, and $3 million to upgrade all existing equipment. In other words, the accident cost Bumblebee $6 million. In fact, the direct financial loss is secondary. This incident undoubtedly had a huge impact on Bumblebee's reputation. In a modern society with advanced information technology, the incident quickly went viral on the internet. Whenever news about Bumblebee appeared, some people used it as a basis to make up some even more horrifying rumors about human flesh being found in the cans, causing the sales of their products to drop again and again. Finally, in 2019, the company, which had been established for nearly 120 years, filed for bankruptcy due to operational difficulties. Finally, in March 2020, FCF Co. Limited of Taiwan acquired the company for $928 million and still operate till today. Welcome to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to this channel and like the video. We'll see you in the next video.